week of Women's History Month. And we're going to continue to celebrate beautiful women who have done really great things here in the United States and have influenced us in a positive way. So today I'm going to read to you about Celia Cruz. She's a Latina, una Cubana, a Cuban um, uh, Latina, and she had an incredible influence on us with the music industry and dancing and super colorful in our Latin community. So I wanted to share her story with you today as we celebrate and lift up women in Women's History Month of March. Hola comunidad, soy uh, Superintendente Galván aquí con ustedes leyendo otras historias todo el mes de marzo, celebrando y elevando la mujer. Y hoy voy a leer sobre Celia Cruz, una cubana uh, mujer que tenía mucha influencia de, de la comunidad. Ella era una cantante, pero también una bailadora. So, la música de ella nos inspira de hacer y bailar y hacer cosas felices. So, gracias a ella por su contribución a nuestra comunidad y voy a leer sobre su vida um, hoy, esta noche. So I'm going to read about Celia Cruz's life tonight with all of you. And so you get to learn about the influence of a female who just really loved music and was really, really good at it. She's from Cuba, which is a Latin American country. Okay, here we go. Sugar, my voice is strong, smooth, and sweet. I will make you feel like dancing. Close your eyes and listen. My voice feels like feet skipping on cool, wet sand, like running water under, under a waterfall, like rolling down a hill. My voice climbs and rocks and dips and flips with the sounds of congas beating and trumpets blaring. Azúcar, that's what sugar means in Spanish. This over here is translated into Spanish. Open your eyes. My costumes are colorful and as colorful as my music, with ruffles, beads, sparkles, and feathers. They shimmer and shake as I move my grateful arms and legs to the beat of tropics and the rhythm of my heart. In my mind, I carry the place that I am from and the places that I have been. When I sing, memories of my childhood come, childhood come back to me. So she, not only did she sing, but her costumes were amazing at showing just the beautiful color in her music. I was born in Cuba, an island in the middle of the Caribbean Sea. My Cuba was in the city of Havana. That's where she was from, Havana, Cuba. Our family had a warm kitchen filled with the voices of women and men, grandparents, brothers, sisters, aunties, and uncles. We ate rice and beans and bananas and filled our bellies with love and warm coffee with milk and lots and lots of sugar. In the evenings, I would help my mother put the younger children to sleep by singing to them. She would sing lullabies. My father, well, he worked long and hard on the railroad, but lovingly came home to us every day. He would sit in the backyard and sing with us. He gave us the gift of music and filled our hearts with hope. Sometimes when I would sing with my father, our neighbors would hear the sound of my voice and walk over to listen to my melodies. We may have been poor, but music didn't cost anything and it brought joy to us all. <clears throat> my papa wanted me to become a school teacher, such an important job. At school I learned and I grew and I studied history and art, mathematics and science and even music. I did well in school and I loved to sing. When I sang, my body would fill with the rhythms of Africa and mix with Spanish sounds and of Cuba. Finally, one of my favorite teachers, my favorite teachers told me, she took my hands and said, you go out into the world, mija, and you sing. You will be known across this land. Your voice is a gift, a gift from above, and you must ring sweet in the ears of all the people. My cousin Nanita and I would travel far on a bus so that I could have a chance to sing in competitions. Even though some people would not let me sing in their context because of the color of my skin, I did not let this stop me from making my voice heard. I promised myself that I would keep singing and studying no matter what. I was still a young woman when a revolution began in my country, like many others. I left my Cuba forever. 
First, I traveled to Mexico. Then I traveled to the United States with my husband, the trumpeteer Pedro Knight, and our music group called Sonora Matan Matancera. Miami, my home away from home. One day I moved to a rest one day in a restaurant. A young waiter asked me if I wanted sugar in my coffee. Sugar, I said. How could he even ask? I'm Cuban. Everybody likes sugar in our coffee. And when I sipped the milky sweetness, I was back in my mother's kitchen with my friends and my family. From that point on, when I called out on stage, I would simply say, azúcar, sugar, and they would know exactly what I meant. Home and love and lots of kisses. The audience would bring their hands together and always clap for me. I sang with my friends Tito and Johnny and Willie and I became to love, everyone became to love our music. Together we brought a new music to the Americas, salsa we called it. It was a music that blended rock with rumba, mambo with jazz. People love to dance and shake to our music. Shake, shake, shake went their hips as they laughed and they danced to our music. Teachers and presidents honored me and all because my song sounded like the waves of the ocean hitting the roof of my mouth, like the streets of Havana, like my mother's kitchen, like a tummy full of beans and bananas and rice. I crossed borders and broke boundaries because I was a survivor and no one ever stopped me from singing ever again. My records turned gold and silver and platinum and the streets and the stars were given my name. Boom, 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 beat the congas. Clap, 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 go the hands. Shake, 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 go the hips. When we sing together, our words are like smiles flying across the sky. Come dance with me now, friends, to the beat of the drums and the sounds of the trumpets and the tropics. Azúcar, sugar. And that's the story, wow. That is all about Celia Cruz. And Celia Cruz was alive from 1924. She passed away in 2003. But she was definitely someone that everybody still listens to her music today because she was that good. And the beat makes you wanna dance. Thank you so much for joining me, boys and girls. Que bueno esta historia de Celia Cruz. Um, it's a pleasure to read to you every night, and we'll join you again tomorrow night reading more stories. And so, I'm Super Nina Galvan with the Greenfield School District. So proud to read your stories and sending a great big bear hug from our family to yours.